Good day. Um, today we are going to focus on the term trading stock. Trading stock. So we may have a trading stock deficit or a trading stock surplus. Now, what does this mean? So every year end, okay, every year end after the business after the business um has um has calculated the trading stock account in the general ledger. So every year end after the business have, have prepared the trading stock account in the general ledger so every end after the business has done this they have recorded all the purchases and all the the trading stock that has been sold and then after they found out that the the balance that is remaining of the trading stock is how much so after they found the balance credit down after the business has found the balance credit down, which is the closing balance of the trading stock. Okay, so what the business does, um, the business now will have to compare. Okay, so now the business want to know that is this amount in the trading stock account in the general ledger, is it accurate? So the business will want to find out that the amount in the general ledger is it accurate so what the business does the business does what you call a what is called the stock count can be called a physical stock count can also be called a physical stock count meaning that someone or an employee is there physically is there physically counting the stock item by item by item so one by one is counting to 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 make sure that the amount in the trading stock account in the general ledger is correct so they count one by one okay so what can happen is that the business may find out that um they are after doing the stock count they found out that the amount that they got when they were doing the physical stock count is less okay is less than the amount in the uh, general ledger so what does this mean that is where uh, we come up with an account that is called a trading stock deficit. So if the if the stock count amount is less than um is less than the amount in the trading stock account in the general ledger, that means that there is a deficit. Okay, that means that there is a deficit in the business, meaning that in a business there is a loss. Because we thought that the amount that is, we thought that the amount in of the trading stock is the one in the general ledger, but after counting one by one, now we know that um, the trading stock is net is not that amount. So what we mean is that the business uh, is having a loss. So therefore, the trading stock deficit, the trading stock. Deficit, okay. It's an expense account, meaning that it increases on the debit side and decreases on the credit side. Why is it an why is it an expense account? It's because the business is making a loss here. The business thought that they is they had a certain amount in the general ledger, but after counting one by one. They see that now uh, they made, uh, I mean, 
now they see that the amount in the physical stock is less than the amount in the um, general ledger. So what it will mean is that the business made a trading stock deficit. Okay. So to find the trading stock deficit, the business will have to find the difference between the two. Okay. To see that um, the amount in the physical stock, it is less by how much. Okay. We also have the trading stock surplus. Trading stock surplus. So this one is an income. So now why is this one an income? Now look at this. So after, after the business has done doing the stock count. Okay. After the business has done doing the stock count, the business may find out that the amount is more than the one in the general ledger or is more than the amount in the trial balance. So what does this mean? So this means that the business is not losing this time. The business is winning. Okay. So if the business is winning, it's an income. Okay, so this time it's an income. So now to find that um, surplus, that is how much, that this trading stock is more by how much, we'll need to find the difference between the amount in the physical stock count and the amount in the general ledger or in the um, uh, trial balance. Okay. Um, Let's go to the um, example. Here's an example. So this this one here, they did an example on the trading stock um on the trading stock deficit. Okay. Um, on twenty eight February. Okay. Before we before we continue, let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. Okay. Let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. Um, okay. So, trading stock. This is a trading stock, which is an asset. Increase on the debit and decrease on the credit. Okay. And then, this is a trading stock. Surplus. This is a trading stock surplus. It's an income increase on the debit on the credit side, I mean, and decrease on the debit side. Okay, now trading stock. Okay, we're doing the, the we are doing the physical stock count. So we are counting the stock. And then after that, we found out that the actually uh, the amount is more than the one in the trial balance. So this means that the trading stock, the one that is in a trial balance or in the general ledger, it is small, okay? So what will need to happen is, we will need to come and increase the trading stock. Why are we increasing the trading stock? Because after counting the trading stock one by one, doing the physical stock count, we saw that we saw that um, the amount in the in the general ledger is small, is less. Okay, so actually the trading stock is not worth that amount in the general ledger. It is more because the one in the in the um, uh, physical stock is more. So what you need to do right now is we need to come and increase the trading stock okay gj with which account with the trading stock surplus okay and then we come again and also increase 
the trading stock surplus as we know that it increases on the credit side. So with an account, it is called a trading stock like this. Okay, but let's do let's go and do the example. On 28 February uh, 2011, the trading stock account in the general ledger reflected a balance of 34,400. Okay. Um, let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. The trading stock. Trading stock. So they are saying that the trading stock, the balance is 34,400. 500, I mean. So this is a February 2011. The balance brought down, it is 34,500. Right? Now, let's continue. The physical stock count revealed that the goods on the hand, they are 32,000. So when the business was doing the stock count, when the business was counting a trading stock one by one, they, they saw that actually the accurate amount is not 34,000 for the trading stock. It is 32,200, meaning that the amount of 34,500, it is not correct. Okay, the correct amount is the 32,200. Okay, so what we need to do is the business will need to go and decrease the trading stock. Okay, the business will need to go and decrease the trading stock. So, like I said, so after the business have found out that the amount in the um, stock count is smaller than the one in the um, general ledger or, or in a trade balance the business has what you what is called a trading stock deficit meaning that actually the business has a lesser has a, has a lesser stock than it thought okay so now now come here trading stock so it's 34,500 so right now we need to come and decrease the trading stock so to decrease the trading stock we need to check that how much is the difference between the two how much is the difference between the two let's check it there are 4,400 Minus the two thousand two hundred, it is two point three. So the trading stock is supposed to come and decrease by two thousand three hundred, because this this thirty four thousand five hundred is not correct. The general is GJ, okay. So what is this two thousand four hundred? This is a deficit. This is a trading stock deficit. Okay, this is a trading stock deficit, which is an expense. Why is it an expense? Because the business is losing 2.3. Because it thought that it, it, it has a stock of 34, 500, but that was not correct. Okay, so we come and increase our expense account, which is a trading stock deficit, with how much? With 2.3. GJ, and then the, it, it is coming from which account? It is coming from the trading stock. Right? So let's balance our trading stock. Remember, when we are balancing the account in the general ledger, we check which side is bigger. So in this case, the bigger side is the debit side. So it is there are 4,500. There are 4,000. 500. So the difference between the two, it is there 2,200. 
So this is the balance credit down. So meaning that this is going to be the balance brought down of the trading stock, which is there 2,200, like this. Okay, so this is a trading stock deficit, which is an expense. Okay, so if if we were doing this in the accounting equation, we are moving now. If we were doing this in the accounting equation, owners equate uh, asset. So the debited, the credited. Okay, so which account is debited? The account that is debited here, it is a trading stock deficit because the expense is increasing. So this is a trading stock deficit. Okay, and then the account that is decreasing it is a trading stock. So the trading stock is decreasing. So if the trading stock is decreasing, it means that the asset they are decreasing because the trading stock is an asset. And then we have a trading stock deficit. The trading stock deficit it decreases the owner's equity because it is a liability. So you are going to do this like this in a, a accounting equation. 